Lawrence Scott here, Warriors TV and Warriors.com. And it was a tremendous night here at Oracle Arena. A great team win and a very physical game with the Warriors taking down the LA Clippers 115 to 94. And when you look at this game, you see two distinct stories in both halves. And we start with the first half and Stephen Curry ruling that first half, setting the tone for the Warriors in front of another capacity crowd at Oracle Arena. 25 points in the first half. He finishes with a game high 31 total plus eight assists, six boards and some very strong defense all night on Chris Paul. Second half, the rebounding was critical, and on the night, the Warriors outboarded the Clippers 53-38. to And 13 of those rebounds, part of another David Lee double-double, leading the league right now in 20-point double-doubles. He had 24 points tonight and seven assists. Klay Thompson, he had some big shots as well. 19 points on the evening, and the Warriors built a 24-point lead, and they end up beating L.A. by 21. All in all, a great night here at home. You know, we came out with the aggressiveness, um, obviously jumping out to a 26-8 lead. Um, that kind of that sets the tone better than we have ever, uh, I think, this year. So um, being able to you know, withstand a couple runs and not get flustered at all, just keep attacking and uh, keep playing our game was a, a big factor um, from, that, from that point on. I thought we did a good job physicality wise tonight out rebounding those guys. Um, you know, they're a, a team with a lot of athleticism and and if you uh, are not physical with them, they can really overwhelm you on the boards and getting out in transition. Uh, the one one negative was we turned the ball over too much tonight. But uh, I thought our team did a good job defensively and um, and, a, and a good job rebounding and, and anytime we do that and we share the ball, we're gonna have a chance to win. Um, we had real physical inside, especially our fours and fives. They did a good job keeping them off the glass. And uh, we played well when we scored over 100. And uh, that's always a good sign. And um, they were coming off the of back to backs, so and we knew they'd be a little winded. And they were missing a good player, Karan Butler. So we just did a good job sharing the ball and playing tough defensively. We lost. We lost. You know, they, they hit us in the mouth first. Um, we never really recovered. And, uh, you know, had a playoff type feel to it. You know, it's funny. I didn't shoot before the game today and came out for warm ups. You know, they had to white out. And, Energy was crazy in there, so it's a real good win for them. You know, they, they completely outplayed us tonight in uh, you know almost every area. Um, you know, shooting-wise, they were they were they were um, unbelievable. But you know, we have to expect that them coming in off of three days rest, whatever it is, and, and you know, us coming in off of this is a tough part of our schedule right now. We have to expect that. And we have to to execute our game plan better. In this, the first game for the Warriors in the new year, the Warriors Whiteout, powered by Clorox, had a strong winter theme with fans getting limited edition t-shirts upon entering the game. And just outside Oracle Arena, the Whiteout was stirring the night sky as a snow machine helped to make a memorable entrance via the Arena Plaza. Just one of many touches for the Whiteout theme that is destined to become a Warriors winter tradition. I think a lot of our fans uh, were using this kind of as a barometer uh, for the next, you know, you know for this month, kind of coming off a big month for for both teams to see where we were, and um, you know, but we need to turn around and be ready to go, to go again on Saturday. So, you know, we know they're going to be ready, and uh, and we'll accept the challenge. We're a good basketball team. We were ready. And good basketball teams, when they're sitting at home, waiting for another team that worked the night before. Now it's not going to happen all the time, but you impose your will, and we did a good job of you know fighting and getting the W. I'm sure we'll see a different clip of basketball team in L.A., and we'll be ready. So, yes, the Warriors and Clippers battle again this coming Saturday at the Staples Center in L.A., and this is a very strong way to start off 2013 for the Warriors, and we've got much more to come for you, so keep it right here on Warriors TV and Warriors.com.